Hey guys, um, <laughs> I've been thinking about this for a long time. Uh, <clears throat> so I started this channel because I have a medical condition uh, that prevents me from working a nine to five job. Um, And I was hoping, probably naively, to uh, offset or replace even um, my disability payments. Uh, just because they are so low, I can barely function um, as far as money goes. Um, and it's I started this with the idea that hey maybe I can make some money you know I can I can I can build a business or build a, a channel and and see some success um, and to be honest it's not worth it guys it's not worth it like uh, I don't know I I don't know how many of you understand uh, how YouTube works um, basically I react to a video uh, and the video uh, gets a copyright claim and so YouTube in its infinite wisdom uh, redirects all the money I would have made from my video to the artist which is fair they did make the original content where I have a problem is that I am adding something you know, I mean, we wouldn't have reaction channels if people didn't enjoy seeing reactors react to content. Um, but I don't get any piece of that. And so, I... <clears throat> Let me just show you this. This is a list of all the videos I've done and if you can see here that says ineligible right ineligible for money ineligible ineligible this one's on because it was um, a blooper reel and nobody claimed copyright on it but basically if you go through here look at this ineligible this one's on again because it was a documentary nobody claimed copyright but and it just goes on and on and on ineligible ineligible this one is an escrow because I fought it I, I, I'm doing an experiment where you know I know Ren allows people to earn money on his music so they somebody put a copyright claim on it I know he's an independent artist. I know it wasn't Ren that did that, so I'm fighting it, and I want to see what happens. So right now it says an escrow. Uh, basically, they're collecting the money, and depending on the decision, uh, they will pay it out to whoever wins. Um, ineligible, ineligible. This one's on because it's just me, a video like this one ineligible this one's on because he actually gave permission to uh, use this video uh, he was a new artist and uh, he was really appreciative I had a chat with him in the in the comments he was a great guy um, now some of them are sharing and this is an interesting concept to me because 
if you're sharing revenue, that seems fair to me, you know? Um, you're providing the content, I'm providing the uh, narrative and the reaction that are, I'm also showing people your, your work, um, expanding your audience. Uh, so to share the revenue makes sense to me. <clears throat> I don't know what the split would be. Uh, you would think 50-50, but I'd be even okay with the 70-30. You know, I get 30, you get 70. Everybody's happy. Everybody makes a little money. That makes sense. But most of them just claim the money and and take it from you. Uh, again, you know, all the way through here. And on and on it goes. This one's sharing. These are all ineligible. This one's on, which is great. I don't know how that one got through. Uh, it's a one okay rock song, but for some reason, it's monetized. But most of these, almost 90% of all the reactions I've done is ineligible. Alright, so what does that mean? Well, let's go see. This is how much money I've made since on YouTube since being monetized, which was at the beginning of the month. I've made $4.50. Most of that is from the ones that said they were wrong because they were like documentary type things, not, not, uh, not actual videos. The rest of the money is going directly to the artist. Um, Which is unfortunate because, you know, I think if I think about the amount of hours I put in uh, to this channel, like the sheer number of hours, I have over 300 reactions on my channel. I have uh, countless hours of reading comments, responding to comments. Um, I've been live, albeit hardly successfully, because again, copyright comes into play. So, basically, it's not worth being a reactor. The only way it becomes worth it, and if you want reactors to continue reacting, uh, is by help, helping them, helping them support the channel. Um, I mean, I had to pay money for my camera, I had to pay money for my mic, I had to pay money for the software to edit the thumbnails, I had to pay money for, I mean, it just goes on and on. Um, so, when I mention my Patreon, or I mention, um, uh, you know, uh, to request a song for a buck. Uh, that's just going to pay off the channel. That's not going to my pocket. Um, like this month, I think my expenses, well, I mean, just, just my editing software alone was 20 bucks this month. Uh, so obviously YouTube isn't covering it. Um, and requests would cover it. All the requests I've ever gotten would cover it for one month, but then I gotta pay it again next month, you know? So, uh, I just want to make people aware of what, um, what it, what it's really like for reactors. Um, a lot of people think, oh, well, you know, you're just sitting at home playing around or whatever. Well, it costs us money to actually have these things up. And at $4.50 for a month, uh, we're not going to recover our costs at all. Um, so, uh, I just want to encourage people to support your favorite reactors. Um, 
you know, join their Patreon. Um, if they have a song request thing, I know uh, I know of another reactor that started the coffee song request thing. That's where I got the idea from, um, and she's doing quite well um, with that. Uh, so much so, in fact, she said she had to pause it because she was overwhelmed. Um, that hasn't been my experience so far, um, but uh, every little bit counts. Every little bit helps. Um, now, you might sit there and think, oh, look, another guy begging for money. Well, here's the bottom line. Um. Uh, I'm not rich. I'm on disability. Uh, I can't afford these expenses all on my own. Um, so if I don't get the support to help keep the channel going, ultimately I'm going to have to make a hard decision. Do I keep the channel going? Um, I, I would just like to encourage everyone to to really think about uh, you know the reasons why people are doing what they're doing um, in my case it's because this is this is something I can do from home uh, it's something I can control the time uh, you know I get very sore during the day and so I have to lay down sometimes and and rest my leg rest you know it's very tiring being in pain all the time so you know to work an eight hour a day job is just not feasible uh, my doctor told me and i find this hilarious but i'm not supposed to stand for more than 20 minutes at a time i'm not supposed to sit for more than 20 minutes at a time and i'm not supposed to lay down for more than 20 minutes <laughs> What am I supposed to do? Float? <laughs> I, I don't understand. I mean, obviously I got to do that, but it causes, um, it causes pain. So, I don't know. I've, I'm just very, very disappointed in how YouTube treats reactors. Um, I don't think they're being very fair. Uh, in their uh, monetization uh, policies and I think a revenue sharing model would be much more fair um, especially when we're we're, we're presenting uh, artist music to the to the wider world you know um, like if you take Ren for example that's where he actually got found was through reactions uh, people were like holy crap who's this kid you know and uh, he said it himself he's benefited greatly from the reaction uh, part of YouTube and he's very uh, grateful and so but some company, uh, I think it's called a bounty for the third party. I mean, let's just go see. Let's look up a Ren song. Ren. Halftime. Well, let's see. Uh, talk outlines, for example. If we come here and we go down to the copyright and we go to details. So, okay, Universal Mu Music Group caught this one. Uh, he's an independent artist. I don't know what Universal Music Group has to do with Ren. Um, let's check another one. There's another one here. I don't know, let's just pick a random one. Let's go to... Uh, 
Or is one of his popular ones? Um, oh, a lot of these have been turned on, actually. Huh. Never noticed that. Well, that's cool. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's happening here. Ad rev for the third party. That's that's the company. Now they have nothing to do with Ren. They're just making a claim uh, on Ren's music. Ren's an independent artist. Has been for ever. Um, he doesn't belong to a studio. Only Ren can make a copyright claim on Ren's music. And this ad rev for a third party is making copyright false copyright claims and and taking uh, reactors revenue so i'm glad i got like i just noticed now that i got a lot of them cleared up i i had to uh, appeal um some of this stuff but <sighs> it's really frustrating you know, and that's, this is just Ren, you know, I know for a fact Ren is, is, uh, independent and doesn't, you know, isn't beholden to anyone. Um, but yet we got these fly-by-night companies that are making false copyright claims. Um, like I wouldn't, I, I would have no problem at all sharing some revenue with Ren. Uh, Ren's my dude. Um, so, if I, you know, if I ever get a chance to talk to him, uh, and I've tried, trust me, um, you know, the first thing I would talk to him about is what kind of things happen on YouTube and, and maybe what some of the solutions might be. Um, but I just I just want to make a quick video because, you know, I don't think a lot of people understand. I I got into a bit of a uh, thing in chat uh, in in the comments where uh, I referred the guy to my my request chat you know to coffee for a request because he was requesting in the comments and uh, <clears throat> he got pretty upset that I was asking for money. And uh, this is why. This is why. Uh, you know, $4.50 since it became monetized, and that was easily uh, at the beginning of the month, maybe earlier. Um, so, us reactors, we don't make any money uh, without your support. And uh, so, I mean. Pfft. This whole idea of me doing this as a source of revenue uh, kind of goes out the window um, without your support. So, and I'm not just talking about me, I'm talking about all reactors. All reactors need uh, support because otherwise we're, it's just not going to be worth our time to do it. And you know, you look at uh, some of the big guys like, uh, oh, I don't know, like uh, Black Pegasus and, you know, the big ones like that. I know they're making bank. Uh, they're doing all right because they have, you know, a hundred Patreon members and they have, uh, you know, people that request songs and whatnot or donate during live stuff um so they're doing all right but it's pretty hard to get there and it's um i don't know if it's just a matter of time um but i do know that it's disheartening sometimes <laughs> You know so I just wanted to make this video so that you guys have a better understanding of uh, why reactors ask for support 
Um, I almost feel like a street beggar sometimes, <laughs> you know, like uh, alms for the poor, you know, um, and it's not a great feeling, and uh, I wish it was different, but um, yeah, that's my spiel. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments. Um, uh, I know some people think we should just be doing it for free and other people are willing to support and I'd say majority of people just, you know, don't even think about it. So. All right, that's it. That's my rant. Rant over. Uh, so, on this, you know, if you do want to support, uh, these are the ways you do it. And uh, subscribing is great. Um, and let's just build something. I'm trying to build something. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop my, my little... Uh, my little info session here so uh yeah talk to me in the comments let me know your thoughts have a good one guys